Wow, I never realized it was as big as it is. I'm talking about my Lego backlog, and that's everything that we have to build and integrate here in the Lego room. So today we're gonna to be taking a look at my entire Lego backlog. I am simply appalled that I haven't built this yet. What the heck? The Wolverine mech? I've gotta build that. It comes with such a cool Wolverine minifigure. I can't believe I haven't built that yet. Wow. Number two is this one here. Who's excited for this new movie? Thor, Love and Thunder? I'm so excited for it. And this is the goat boat. The goats look hilarious. And also the minifigures look awesome as well. We have Mighty Thor, Thor, Valkyrie, Korg, and Gore. I don't know who that is, but yeah, that looks pretty sweet. I need to get that one built. So that's the uh, only two Marvel sets that we have in our backlog. Expecto Patronum! I can't believe I haven't built this one here. This one's pretty cool. It comes with Sirius, right? 121 pieces. And that's a Harry Potter set, obviously. And that is our third set that we have in our backlog. It comes with two Dementors, too. Like the minifigs look pretty cool in that one. Wow. We should build that, Jose. This one should go in the uh, campground uh, right beside uh, Grop. Hey, that would make sense, yeah. Number four is another Harry Potter set. This is the Divination Hogwarts Moments. Got to build that one and integrate with the other textbooks here on the shelves. We have another uh, Hogwarts moment set as well, and this one is Defense Against the Dark Arts, I believe. Yeah, Defense Against the Dark Arts. Oh, it comes with Professor Moody. Very neat. And those are the last two in our Harry Potter backlog. So how many do we have now? Two, four, five. All right, well, next is number six. This one's a little bit random. We got the uh, Jungle Raider. This could definitely just be ripping around the Lego City, though. Comes with a pretty cool minifig, and it's a really nice looking vehicle. I actually think I have one of these built already. Oh, we got Jeffrey here. Jeffrey from uh, Toys R Us. Jeffrey the Giraffe. And we got Chip and Dale, Brickheads. Number nine is Woody and Bo Peep Brickheads. You know what? I really like the uh, Buzz Lightyear Brickhead. It's one of my favorite. I love how it has like the little cylinders inside that actually rattle around. It's like batteries. Gotta get these brickheads built and integrated with the other brickheads right back there. Number 10 is something for the zoo. Yeah, I've got two of these, so they're gonna be our giraffes. Oh my gosh, did you see the new giraffe figure that came out? It's coming out, it's like a baby giraffe or something like that, a molded animal. I saw it on the internet the other day, but this is the Safari Wildlife Treehouse. It's a three-in-one set, and that is number 10. Another three-in-one set is number 11, and this is the toy store. We actually have to, uh, pretty much part this one out, integrate it with the one that we already have built. And this is gonna be part of the like mini boardwalk area just in front of the beach. So we've gotta build another toy store and convert it into uh, a mini modular. Did you see the new three-in-one mini modular of the Noodle House? Yeah, we we'll have to get two of those and build a Noodle House too eventually, cause that's just gonna be really cool. We like these mini modulars, we actually like making them larger, right? Okay, another three-in-one set that we haven't built yet is the tiger yeah what's it called the majestic it's not just a tiger it's a majestic tiger you can also build a koi fish or a red panda with this three and set three in one set but uh we'll for sure be building the tiger looks like a really interesting build uh it's got all sorts of interior like colors and stuff that makes sense and also something on the rear end that makes sense as well something else that we could integrate into the lego city is this here uh some sort of construction site uh, this is the mobile crane. I should have this out there right now because, I mean, the LEGO City's under construction. I'm really excited about that new BrickLink Designer Program construction site. Actually, after thinking about it for a while, I think I've decided that I'm actually going to order that because it looks like a nice modular building. Yeah, so I'll definitely be getting that construction site, I think. I just like how, you know, it looks more permanent. I've done construction sites in the past, but it has the big city tower crane. And it just didn't look that permanent, but I think the new one will. Now, we've been looking to integrate this one into the LEGO City for quite some time. This was sent to us uh, by the members. Thank you so much. And Moonman coordinated that. Now, we have trains back in the LEGO City, so maybe we'll be able to create a train station somewhere in the city with this, potentially. It's got some really nice parts in it, too, and, of course, a bunch of track and stuff like that. And I think we'll be able to uh, integrate this as we move forward. But this is the city... Uh, train station. Something else that we have to integrate into the city is a, a tuning workshop or like a car garage and we're gonna use this one here. This one was sent to us by Kennedy. Thank you so much Kennedy. Amazing. We've got to build a modular building using 
sort of like the design and the elements from this set, but we're gonna have to bulk it up with our own inventory and some part ordering and stuff like that and build a 32 by 32 modular building using this set here. Next, we have not one, not two, but three of the Elvis arts. And we're gonna create the ultimate Elvis art, which is the three tall vertical Elvis that is the same size as the Vader. Now this one here doesn't have a box, but it's super cool. Purple Cat sent us this one here. And this is actually the jousting set that we will be integrating in the Lego City eventually. It comes with a bunch of knights, a king, all sorts of cool figures. Like the figures are just next level. And we'll be integrating that in the under table scene of the medieval area eventually. But I've got it just stowed away in this box here. Ready for the future. It's creepy. <laughs> Okay, we got two lightsabers here. I've got Yoda's lightsaber, which is parted out from Bricklink, and then we have Luke Skywalker's lightsaber. I sold my Yoda's lightsaber. I probably might sell this one too. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I might sell that one. We'll see. So we got some more Star Wars stuff coming up here, and the next three are the helmets. We've got uh, Red 5, uh, Luke Skywalker's uh, pilot helmet there and also uh, the Mandalorian helmet yeah very good very good and the last one is the dark trooper helmet so we've got the three 2022 helmets it's getting a little bit crowded on this table here I've had these next two in my backlog for far too long we've got the Mandalorian no not the man yeah the Mandalorian starfighter yeah Mandalorian starfighter we've got to get that built and also the bad bat shuttle Got to get that built as well. That's that's dangerous. That's real dangerous. This next one is a gem. I can't believe I haven't built this one yet because honestly, Lego Star Wars AT-AT walkers mean a lot to me and this is like an old one. That was sent to us by a fan of the channel. Thank you so much, Bessie Briscoe, I believe it was. Thank you so much, man. This thing is epic. I can't wait to build it. Like I. I've been meaning to, I've just been so swamped, I haven't been able to build anything as you can see as I slowly get buried here. Yo, Lego vehicles are hyped, especially the Creator three or creator Expert vehicles. We've got a Porsche here because we're going to be building another Porsche, but it's not going to be the Targa, it's going to be the rebrickable model of the newer 911. I'm really excited about that, still got to do that. It's actually the same person that designed uh, the Lamborghini Countach right up here, uh, but they've got a different rebrickable model for this one, and we're going to be doing that relatively soon as well. And you know what? There's another one too of a, a different Mustang, and that's another rebrickable model that we've got to do as well. So we're going to be building a different Mustang here using this set. And then we've got to build another vehicle, which is a nice uh, little blue Vespa. Silencio Bruno, Silencio Bruno. We have another. Uh, a vehicle here, which is the Vespa. Like I said, I think I have too much backlog, more than I originally anticipated here. I mean, this is getting dangerous. Keep it coming, Jose, let's do this. We're almost there, we're almost there. There's one more baby blue vehicle, and it's the Fiat 500. Oh yeah, we've gotta get the Fiat 500 built, that's for sure. And then we have a large, a large vehicle that's uh, sort of half built, don't we? What's that one? Actually, we're gonna put that right there. That looks a little safer, hey? There we go. Oh, uh, you got a large vehicle coming up here next, and it's one that's half built, and that is the Cat D11 right there. We've got it half built. I think we're, we're literally halfway through the building stages. The Cat D11's pretty uh, dangerous. It's a Technic build that uh, we need to finish up, and uh, uh, why haven't I? Well, last time I was building it, I don't know, I was done one of the last stages, and then I went and moved it, and then right underneath it, there was like a five long Technic axle, and I was like, where did that axle come from? And now I'm scared to proceed. I'm going to have to refer to the instructions and ensure that all of our axles are in their proper positions. Uh, so this is our entire backlog. Let's get a full count. I don't know if we're right, but I think there's about 31 and a half sets if you consider the Cat D11 to be half built. So about 31 and a half sets that we need to build here. Woo! Pretty big backlog, but we've got some exciting stuff. We've got some Star Wars stuff. We've got some vehicles. We've got uh, some Harry Potter stuff, uh, Marvel, City, 
three in one. Like, there's all sorts of awesome Lego sets here that I cannot wait to uh, build and integrate into the Lego room. It's just trying to find the time to build all this stuff. Even as a full-time Lego YouTuber, I just can't find the time to get all of this stuff built and keep producing videos and keep working on the Lego City and keep coming up with new ideas and stuff like that. I'm falling behind. I've got to get on it. Everybody, let us know what you think by commenting below and let us know what your favorite set in our backlog is. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff. And thank you so much for popping on by. Farewell.